Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into a super useful Python project, extracting data from PDFs. Let's get started. First, let's take a look at the PDF we'll be working with. So I have four PDF invoices here. Keep in mind that all four PDFs have a similar structure, which is essential for this code to work. We need to extract specific details like invoice number, the bill to name, roll cost, and the item description. If I open another invoice, you will see that this has a similar structure and should work with the same code. To do this, we'll be using PDF Plumber library in Python. If you have not installed it yet, you can do so by going to your command prompt by doing start, then and typing cmd, pressing enter, and then running pip install PDF Plumber in your terminal. If you do not have Python installed, I will add a link to installation of Python, which is very simple. Let me create a new VS Code file and let's start coding. So let's start by importing our necessary libraries, which is PDF Plumber and RE, which is for regular expressions. Let's add some new lines here. I'm doing that by pressing B, which adds a new line. The first thing we will do is we will add the location of our file. So let's declare a new variable called loc for location and we put the location of our PDF file in it. Keep in mind to add an R before the file location as Windows is unable to access the path using the backslashes. We can also convert these to forward slashes. So the next thing we will do is we will open up the PDF using pdflumber.open and we are using a width construct which is a context manager what that does is as soon as we are done with the code it automatically closes the file itself from the pdf we will access the first page for now we do that by doing square bracket zero for first page as python is zero based index the next thing we will do is we will save the text from that page by doing page dot extract text so let's test our code so let me run the code and you can see our code runs fine now so let's save the location let's run this code block and Let's print the text variable to see what the value is stored in it. Okay, you can see the value is stored in this format. So the slash n means that this is a new line character. So each time it appears, it means that it is being moved to a new line. Next we will do is we will print the extracted text by splitting by line character. So that will give us one line for each item. So let's modify this and let's add print option. Let me format this a bit. This will go here and this is fine. Let's rerun this. And now you can see we have one line for each item. And if you open up the invoice side by side for David, you can see we have all of the data just in a different format. So if we have invoice number, we have date, we have bill to, and all of the information. Great. Now we have the text, we need to extract specific information. We'll be using regular expressions to find this invoice number, bill to name, total cost, and item description. Here's how we can do that. Let me add the code first and then I will explain. For extracting the invoice number, we will use re.search and here we will use invoice number and then we will add a regular expression that is slash d plus which means that this will find one or more digits. You can actually test regular expression as well. There are specific websites that, that let you do that. So here it will give you an explainer as well. So invoice number matches the character's invoice number literally. So this will match the whole thing. Then you are matching slash d which matches a digit anything between 0 to 9 plus matches the previous token so what it means is it will look for more than one values so as soon as we print this we should get the invoice number that is 110 so what it's doing is it is tracing the line that is invoice number here the parentheses create a capture group meaning the digits matched by this part of pattern will be extracted and then dot group one this retrieves the first group from the match which corresponds to a digit matched by slash d plus this is your invoice number all right so let's extract the rest of the information as well for bill 2 we knew that this bill 2 information is actually in a new line that's just below the bill 2 line the value we were looking for is david so what we are going to do is we are going to use the same logic so we are going to search for bill 2 but then we will add a slash n so what it will do is it will match bill 2 and then it will move to a new line and then it will pick up the result from the new line so the dot means that any value and the plus means that it has to be more than one value. Let's test it. And we have the value for the bill to as well. Similarly, we will extract the total cost as well. So let's do that. For the total cost, we will simply trace the line that contains the total cost itself, exact match, and then we will add our regular expression, let's run it. And we have 6075 as our value. Let's look at the last result, which is the item description. Let's add the code for it and then I will give a brief explanation of what it's doing it. For the item description, we are again going to look into next line. So we are going to match this exact value here. So we put this exact value here. 
then we move to new line by doing slash n and then we match any text multiple times so dot means that you match anything plus means that more than one value and then we capture the first group run it and we have our return value as cell phone 47 6075 great now we can add an f strings and print all of these results in one row so let's do that we do print and then we add an f string and we add the result of all four values and we can print them together so we have the invoice number 110 bill to as david total cost 6075 an item description is cell phone 27 6075 this will need a bit more cleaning but we can do that later on and there you have it we have successfully extracted the invoice number bill to name total cost and item description from our pdf let's change this and try to extract this from another invoice just to see if our code works for all of these invoices so i'm going to rename this and clear our code and run it again hopefully this should still run so let's run all and we have our desired value which is information that we needed so let me open this side by side for checking the invoice number is 107 bill to is herman total cost is 110,000 and we have the item description as television 90 and 110,000 again this needs a bit more work but that i'm going to leave up to you i hope you found this tutorial helpful extracting data from pdfs can save you a ton of time especially if you're dealing with large volume of documents enjoy the video don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tutorials thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one